Well, the mailman just came and gave me this uh, package uh, from Ukraine and uh, see what we got in here. Well, there's a board all taped up. <laughs> uh, bubble packed, I guess, uh, in, in a fashion. What this is, is a um, uh, return loss bridge. And it's based on a design, I believe, done by a ham radio operator at some point. Not sure. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to open up and see, uh, see what we got inside this thing. Okay, what we, uh, what we have here is an RF bridge. It says 0.1 to 1000 megahertz. However, it's supposed to work up to 1500 uh, megahertz according to the eBay page that it was on. I don't know, we'll sort of evaluate that. It has um, some SMAs here. This is the output to go to a spectrum analyzer or some kind of a measuring device. This is the device under test, DUT. This is the input. So from the signal generator you put, or sweeper, you'd put it in here. And then you put a load on here. So I, I presume that means that this would work for either 50 ohms or 75 ohms, depending on what the load is that you'd put on this uh, port. Um, maybe even 100 ohms on the other side of that equation should uh, work reasonably well. We'll have to uh, investigate that a little bit too. But anyway, and then uh, this is some kind of a ball broadband ballon to uh, take the balanced uh, output here from this uh, RF bridge uh, and convert it to single-ended ones for the output. So we'll just see uh, what we see on the Regal Spectrum Analyzer with this thing as soon as I uh, get the appropriate cables to hook this up. So here we have a test setup for 432 uh, my dual band uh, well actually two different antennas coupled with an MFJ um, band splitter or duplexer whatever you want to call it and uh, the results are as shown on the screen here you can see the blue line, which is the uh, non-precision dummy load that I have, or actually the uh, 30 dB attenuator that I'm using. And I've got 32, 33 dB of uh, return loss shown, so it's pretty good. This is at four, 400, uh, 430 to 435 megahertz. And uh, you see the 20 dB points at 2 and 3 there, which is pretty good. And uh, you see that it goes from 430 to, uh, what is it, uh, 433 uh, megahertz or so uh, at uh, 15 dB. And, of course, 14 dB is the 1.5 to 1 line. So can't complain too much about these results. Um, and uh, shows that the antenna is functioning correctly. I've been using a mini circuits ZFDC-20-5 directional coupler as my uh, essentially uh, return loss bridge, if you wish. And the uh, yellow line there on this graph shows you what its uh, res results are. Clearly it's okay up to uh, about 450 megahertz. It's in the neighborhood at least of the 30 dB spec. Above that we seem to see some degradation uh, as we go up to uh, 1295 here at minus 20 dB and actually it's a little worse, a little lower than that because of the ripple. So uh, not the ideal thing but uh, eh, still useful. But the new one is uh, much better which is the blue line. As you see, it's uh, quite good down in the HF region up to uh, 150 megahertz, especially it's 40 dB or better. And uh, between uh, about uh, 200 uh, megahertz up to, oh, probably 800 or something, uh, it appears to be in the 30 dB, 
35 dB category. And uh, above that, of course, it degrades as the other one did up to the 1500 megahertz region with it uh, being um, reasonable but not great at uh, 1296, oh, about 27 dB or so. I thought that I'd give a little reference here using my TV type dummy load, which is non precision but reasonable. Um, and as you see, uh, we are showing a 1.5 to 1 visvoir clear up to, oh, 800 megs or so, just like we uh, see on the blue line, the yellow line being the 75 ohm dummy load as measured uh, with the new uh, 046 uh, RF bridge. And at uh, 1295 we see we're at about 1.7 to 1, that's uh, minus, about minus 12, minus 11.5 um, dB uh, re return loss. So it looks like it uh, is pretty good for this use uh, up through the, uh, that region. A little off, but not that bad. These are my antennas at my house, and we'll do some measurements using these. Uh, on the top is a 1296 antenna, but it's not hooked up at the moment. And the 432 beam, a 222 megahertz beam, and a 144 to 146 megahertz beam. And below all that, uh, below the rotor, is a fan dipole that I use for 80, 40, and 20 meters. So let's look at some real-world examples here. This is a home-constructed 9-element 2-meter beam with hairpin loop uh, matching. Measured at the uh, TX end of the 9913 coax that feeds that antenna. It's tuned uh, for optimum operation from 144 to uh, 145 actually one yeah 144 to 145 megahertz I use it for single sideband and a weak signal operation but it does okay up to uh, 146 probably higher than that but uh, I'm only looking at the area that I, I'm interested in here it's better than one and a half to one through the whole uh, area so that's uh, that's good and it shows the uh, the curve there that is very very good for the 145 to 144 region Next, I looked at a 220 beam that I have. Uh, it's designed for 220 to 225 megahertz. It's a five element beam. It has a gamma match, so it's uh, subject to uh, weather. And I think it was wet when I took this, so it looks like it's down frequency a little bit, which is what you'd expect. Um, but anyway, in the 220 region, which is where I use it, 222, I should say, 222.1 sideband, uh, it looks like it's a pretty good curve. Looks like it's uh, petering out as we go up to 225, however. So I may need to retune this thing um, the next time I service the antennas up there and make sure that it's in the right place. Now this is at the end of the coax, at the uh, transmitter end of the coax. So it's, it's you know, there is some effect of the cable when you're doing that uh, remotely. And I also looked at a uh, HT antenna I have for an Elenco multiband um, uh, handheld. Um, so uh, it uh, shows that we have about 12 dB at uh, 1240, the low end of the band. So 1.9 to 1, something like that. And um, no, 1.75, excuse me. And uh, it's got more than uh, 14 dB uh, up through the top of the band at 1300 megahertz, so seems to be uh, working fine. And again, uh, since I'm not on the body of the uh, HT in, in doing this measurement, it may be that things aren't quite um, tuned the way it would be if it was on the instrument, the um, HT itself. You always have to worry about that when you're doing uh, whips like that on on a uh, a bridge. So this is the 80 meter beam. Center frequency is uh, 3.8 megahertz, and uh, as you see, we have better than 10 dB return loss uh, from 3.74 to 3.938. It's actually a little higher than that when it's hooked up through all of the uh, auxiliary equipment, uh, like a tuner and so forth and so on. But anyway, you see the basic uh, pattern here, and then. Uh, 
The next antenna is our uh, 40 meter antenna and it covers uh, 7.144 to 7.300 which is approximately what it uh, actually does um, and uh, so that's the pattern that I see there. You see that we have a very nice match and very nice curve uh, for the 40 meter antenna. And last but not least is our 20 meter uh, dipole and the fan dipole. Uh, this has uh, 14082 to 14344. It's actually a little higher than that. Uh, it actually go to goes to 350, but uh, again, you'll have a little variation depending on what's between the end of the coax that I was measuring and uh, going through the amplifier and switching and so forth um, the, to the, my rig. So, that's the uh, 046-RF bridge that uh, is available for 10 or $15 depending on where you find it on eBay. So you might take a look if you need su such an item and uh, uh, purchase one of these.